Hello and welcome to the fifth lesson of our WordPress beginner to advanced course where our ultimate goal is to become job ready to start providing freelance services on Upwork, Fiverr and on any other freelance marketplaces you'd love to work on. So without further ado, let me give you a quick recap on what we have learned and what we did so far throughout the previous lessons. So if I take you here on this page, just take a look, we have got this beautiful website created step by step by following the previous lessons and in the most recent video lesson we learned about blog posts where we have created few posts on our website and then we have learned so many things about blog posts so if i open up here and just take a look we have worked on the featured image we learned about customizing the designs of text and then we have added some text links we uh, if i just click here you are going to see that this link whenever i'm clicking here it is taking us to a new page which we have selected and then if i click the same thing here if i click on this link it is taking us to a new tab all right with a in a new page we learned about this heading stuffs we learned about listing we learned about how to add an image in between a, a blog post and then we learned about the separators passings how to embed a video how to embed any external post from um, let's say external post from any social media site we worked on this button we talked about these table stuffs widget stuffs etc and so far we are here right so now without further ado let me start this video i'm going to talk about media library and pages and comments throughout this video so here so as you can see here on media whenever i am hovering over it here we are seeing these two options one is library where all the image videos or whatever content we are going to upload on our wordpress website we are going to find them here on library and by using add new button you already know what you can do we can add new image new videos or new contents to our website by using this add new button so now let me take you to media library so we are going to see two images are already available here because one of our blog posts, this one, uh, this image, we have uploaded this image and in another blog post, we have uploaded this image to demonstrate few things to you. So now let's say this media library or the contents are listed in list view, but if you want, you can get them in grid view as well so that, so that they will be looking like this. And if you just notice here, you are going to find all media items like you can select image, audio, video, documents, spreadsheets, archive and all of these other options as you, as you can see here. So now if I take you back, as you can see, I just notice here unattached. So if I take you back to this listing item, you are going to find few more information who was the author who uploaded this image on which blog post this image was attached and the date as you can see. All right, so now let's say I want to add few images on my website. Let's say you have to work on a website where you have to use like 10 images and now you want to upload all of the images at, at once so that you don't have to uh, upload images again and again. You can do the work uh, at once so that it will save your time. So now let me show you how you can do this. Simply click on this add new button from here and then if you click on select files, you are going to find this um uploading option or uploading panel selection panel appeared so let's say i want to upload this image and let's click on open it is going to be added to your library so if i take you to library from here you are going to see that this image is uploaded and if you notice this image is not attached to any blog post because we have added this one manually and we can attach this image later if we need but this is not mandatory this is not mandatory we don't have to work on this all right so now one thing i'd love to show you is how you can upload images in a bulk way let's say you want to upload five to six images at at once or let's say more than that at once so let me show you the process if i click on add new button from here and then if i click on select files and then if i select all of the images that i want to upload like these six images if i click on open all of these images are going to be uploaded on my media library and now i'll be able to use these images on my blog post so let me keep them to this view and let's say if i go to a post or sorry post option and if i click on add new to create a post uh, i'm going to type out like how to 
sorry to use media library okay and then i want to put some paragraph let's say i want to keep these contents from here and then i want to add an image here so if i click on this plus icon so that i'll be able to have this uh, widget selection panel so let's click on image and now you are going to find these options upload media library and insert from url so as we have up, uh, already uploaded image on our media library simply we can click here and then we can select the image that we want to use and let's say i want to use this image let's click on select and here we go we have got this image selected we didn't have have to upload this image again so let's go back to post and if i click let's say i want to upload or select this image as a featured image simply let's click on set featured image and i can select this image um, from directly from our library so if i click on set featured image it is going to be set featured now click on publish and i have noticed i have uploaded one image two times to show you the process so if i take you to media library again this is the image that i want to delete as an example or this one so let's click on it and you are going to find this option as you can see delete permanently you can simply click on delete permanently delete and this image has gone right so this is how media library works and how to add new image videos or other files on your uh, WordPress website by using this platform. Now let's talk about one of the most important part or most important aspect of a WordPress website which is pages. So here as you can see whenever I am hovering over my mouse cursor on pages I am seeing all pages add new button. So from all pages we are going to find all the pages which you have created or which have which you have got from the theme installation by default into one page so and from add new button we'll be able to create a new page that's the normal process you already know so let me click on all pages to see what are the pages we have got here about blog contact create your website with blogs but let me take you what are some other pages you might have to create on a website so if i take you to my learners world blog site if you notice we have got home about then this page with drop down menus contact us page which is another page okay and if i take you to the bottom of the page you are going to find affiliate disclosure which is one page disclaimer one page terms and conditions another page privacy policy and many other pages that you might have to create for a real website right so now let me show you how we can create this page pretty simple simply click on add new button from here let's say i want to create a page for services simple you are seeing the whole interface here as you have seen on the blog post so pretty similar everything is similar here so now let's say i want to type out services as i want to list all the services that we provide just as an example so let's say i have opened services page now i want to add paragraph here simple paragraph it is selected so now let's copy this page sorry copy this paragraph form from here paste it here and then let's say i want to give some image here i love to give the image which is the easier as of now so that i'll be able to explain faster so let's say i am giving okay let's we, instead of this one let's let me just okay let let it be here i'm going to take another block here and i'd love to give a heading here for the service name and i'm going to select heading and let's type out website design and this is my service and then i can add another service right after this okay i can add a spacer here let's say um digital marketing and i should have this in a heading and then i can simply copy and paste some information from here let's say i am going to copy this information and paste them here and then i want to add another image here so image media library and let's say this guy is doing digital marketing or this guy is doing di digital marketing just an example okay so i'm going to select all right so we have created one page now i want to add a spacer here instead of these blocks so let's click here and not spacer actually divider would look good here um okay if i click on this icon i'm actually going to find this divider from here actually separator 
so let's click on separator and here we go we have got a separator added now i'll be able to give it to wide white so that it will look much nicer uh, as of now or just as an example so let's click on uh, okay so before i publish let me talk about this page options as you can see you are going to see this visibility to public obviously we want to create our pages for all the readers who are coming along and then we have got this publish if you want i have forgot to mention about this um like scheduling so if you want let's say if we click on publish now as it is selected to immediately this page is going to be published immediately but let's say you want to schedule to be this page posted at a certain time uh, later so you can simply select as of now currently today is 21 but let's say i want it to be 23rd january so i can simply select this and let's click on uh, like okay so let's click here and if you just click on schedule this post is going to be scheduled but i want to do this now so i'm going to click on 21 or let's say immediate from here reset so it will be immediately all right and then we have got this url slug which we have talked about in our previous lesson when we worked on um, blog post okay so same functionalities here everything is similar so as you can see we have got this slug we have got this permalink then you can select a featured image which you don't need for an image but if you want you can add and most importantly this part as you can see allow comments are not selected this is because on most web pages we don't allow comments we don't want to receive comments on our main pages which we have created instead we want comments on blog posts so i'd love to keep it unselected as it is and wordpress likes this and then we have got this page attribute section where we we can simply select pages um, attribution for other pages for example as you can see we have got this drop down menu here we can select them to the order like this one is parent and this one and this one is the child child pages for learn okay so in this case we don't have to worry about these features because we are going to be able to set all of these drop down things from our menu section and obviously we are going to work on this so let me just click on publish let's click on publish and now if i reload this page we might not going to see anything happening here okay nothing happened here but we want as we have added this as our service page we want this page to be added here right so we are going to add this page from the menu section soon in our next lesson because in the next lesson i might going to work on template sorry theme and some other stuffs which are more realistic and more interesting you are going to enjoy for sure and you're going to learn a lot from my next tutorials all right so now let's say if i visit this page from here from services okay so view page you are going to find how our uh, new page is looking like as of now now let's move on we are going back to the dashboard and then if i click here okay so i already talked about these pages all pages add new things so now let's talk about comments so if i click on comments you are going to see this default comment here so let's say i have got a visitor on this blog post and copy this blog post and i'm going to take you to another window let's say from my incognito window and if i hit enter we are going to visit this page now the visitor will be able to make a comment right here by using this field so let's say i want to put something thank you for sharing this video okay this blog post as just an example blog post it was really helpful so let's say i have uh, made this comment now our visitors have to provide their name so let's say i want to give the name ajharul and i would love to add the email address i don't use the email rafi620 at the gmail and then we can simply skip this website thing and we can skip this part as well if you are not a um, regular viewer or if you don't want to save your details here so let's just click on post comment and here we go i have made this comment right your comment content is awaiting moderation this is a preview your comment will be visible after it has been approved right so this guy me this guy has made a comment already on our wordpress blog post now if i take you back here in our whole 
uh, into a session here and if I reload this comment section you are going to find Ajharul who um, the person's email address is here who made this comment and on this blog post he made this comment and this is the date this is the time and here from this comment section we'll be able to get some options as you can see we'll be able to approve this comment so far if I just reload this page this comment is not yet going to be appeared here okay so this comment is not appeared but whenever we will click on approve it is going to be appeared and whenever we'll click on reply we'll be able to make a reply like thank you so much for replying on this comment so let me first uh, approve this comment and now if I reload this page again just take a look one comment from Acharul in this date we have got this comment from Acharul thank you so much Acharul for, for, for commenting and I love to get comments like this on my YouTube videos as well so if you are watching this for please let me know your opinions just say like if this video was helpful to you by commenting below okay so and don't forget to like the videos if you are enjoying now let's go back here as you can see from reply you will be able to make a reply from here or we can simply reply from here as well but let's get back here on the admin backend so let me click on reply uh, glad to know you enjoyed the blog post please share it with your friends okay just this and then let's click on reply okay so now if I reload this post you are going to see that Rafi who is me again uh, has just made a response to this comment so this is how this comment things works and now let's say you want to make some changes on this comment let's say you have got some bad comments on your blog post we have written a real great post but still you are receiving some bad comments for their misunderstanding or let's say uh, for any other reason maybe some people so bad who'd love to make some bad comments as well so pardon me uh, okay so let's say you have got a bad comment or you think if we just make some slight changes on the comment then it would be good simply you can click on this quick edit or edit button so let me click on quick edit and thank you for sharing this blog post it was really helpful I am sharing this post now just this edition okay so these are just for the example purpose so let me just reload this page so as an admin I was able to make the comment moderation from the backend on my WordPress website which is a great functionality of WordPress again all right so this is how comment work as well now you can simply click on this spam um, button from here if you are getting too many spam comments too many bad comments from someone you can simply click on this spam button and then they won't be able to make any future comments on your blog post on whatever blog post you are writing right so you can simply mark someone as spammer and then you can delete the comment by clicking on trash so let me show you by deleting this comment if I click on trash this comment is going to be on trash as you can see here now if you want to delete this comment permanently from your blog site simply you can delete this permanently from here so this was it guys we I have covered the media pages and comments things throughout this video and from the next video this is going to be real interesting part because we are going to learn how to add a new theme on or actually how to change a theme on WordPress how to customize some parts of the thing uh, theme etc and maybe we will cover the widgets many things as well and remember we have created a page which is services services and we want to take this page appearing here on our menu section it should be here right so we are going to do this in our next video hopefully so this is it guys thank you so much for watching all the lessons this far and if you have been following the step-by-step -step lessons you should have a beautiful website just like this one and I would love to see your works and you can join in this group which I am going to attach the link into the description field below so that you'll be able to share any problems if you are facing you can ask me any question and you can see other members work as well so I hope to see you in this group if you haven't yet joined and I would love to see your works and please don't miss to share this complete course with your friends so that they will be able to learn from as well so I hope to see you in the next video thank you so much have a good day